They included. also will slowly replace huge swaths of their flesh over time. Like I said, it's why they look like really bad cable management. <laughs> Even have a cool term for it called Crux Mechanicus. It's the point where you've crossed the river Rubicon. You are more machine than man. And if you're not into the most invasive things they do, one of the least is they drain all of the blood in your body and replace it with a synthetic version that just works better for oxygen transport. Their least invasive process is bloodletting. That is before we get into the weird and wild stuff they do where you'll see tech priests with huge arms bolted on, mostly metal with loose cables everywhere. Part of this is because they see sentience as a prerequisite to knowledge, but they also see the loss of that as a catastrophic thing because now we gotta go get that again. So they try and prolong their lives as much as possible. But you might be wondering, hey, Sander, some of this artwork isn't really showing off upgrades and it's just a gun mounted to his shoulder. God, I wish. And my counterpoint is, don't you think you'd live longer with a gun mounted to your shoulder? Yes. You could correlate these things. Longer lifespan, shoulder-mounted cannons. The lifespan to shoulder-mounted cannon graph, they're the same line. It's 